After months of debate and deliberation, the House of Representatives has passed a landmark climate change bill that could have a major impact on the way utilities buy, sell, and deliver electricity in the coming years. I'm Steve Johnson of Electric Co-op today, and with me is Glenn English, Chief Executive Officer of the National Rural Electric Cooperative Association, to talk about what's happened and where we go from here. Now, the vote in the House was fairly close, seven vote difference in passage, but from your background in the House, you know that's not really a true indicator of the level of support for the bill. No, it's, it's really not. Uh, the leadership in the House is not going to bring a bill up that they, that they don't have the votes for. Uh, it's just that simple. NRECA's position was that it would not stand in the way of this bill coming out of the House. It wouldn't support it, but it wouldn't block it either. That seems like an awfully fine line to walk. Can you explain a little bit about that particular stance? It is a fine line. There's no question about it. I was being pushed to, uh, uh, to agree to support the bill on behalf of electric co-ops. We will electric co-ops endorse us. And uh, what I came back and said is that uh, this bill is not in shape that we can support it. Uh, we will for an additional $3 billion worth of relief for our membership uh, over the next decade, uh, we will agree that we won't stand in the way of the passage. In, in covering this, NRECA was really the only organization that came up with some hard, cold numbers that people could get their hands on in terms of emission allowances, for example, and show how this legislation benefited some people at the expense of others. Now, that fairness argument, it seems to me, resonated in the House in, in the way the legislation was changed a little bit as it went on. Is that going to hold similar weight in the Senate? Well, I think the fairness our issue is going to carry over in the Senate, and obviously senators pay attention to what's going on in the House, uh, just as the House members pay attention to what's taking place in the Senate. Uh, it was very obvious to see the inequity in the uh, uh, IOU formula. Uh, it discriminated against regions of the country. We're going to try to make the correction that uh, all allowances be based on emissions. We're going to push very hard for that. Uh, the, the second issue is the cap. The cap, is a, as I said, is unrealistic. Uh, we don't think it's attainable. We don't think you can achieve that. And I think people need to understand, this bill is really, in the end, the final bill is going to be written in what they call the conference. Chairman Waxman, uh, Chairman Markey, uh, the Speaker will appoint uh, the representatives on the, from the House of Representatives, and, uh, and uh, Majority Leader Reid will appoint uh, the, the representatives for the Senate, and they will come together and uh, they will, uh, uh, in effect, write the final bill. Uh, that's to work out the differences between the House and Senate version, negotiating back and forth as to what these different provisions are going to be. And uh, that's the reason it's so critical that on the floor of the Senate uh, that we come out with a strong vote for a piece of legislation uh, that is workable, affordable, and, uh, and something that uh, is technologically achievable. Yeah, for all those folks who have been sitting around out there saying, well, nothing's going to happen anyway, so I'm not going to get too excited about this. Now's the time to get excited. Yeah. Uh, now's the time to, to get engaged. Now's the time you know, to really get your membership involved. That's, that's our only strength that we've got. And uh, as I said, this is, we're dealing with some of the largest corporations in this country, billions of dollars involved, and uh, it's, it's going to take all the, uh, all the strength we can bring to bear to uh, make sure that uh, uh, our objectives are met. Well, as Yogi Berra said one time, it's, it ain't over till it's over. Now, he was talking about baseball, not the legislative process, but this is still hardball by any stretch of the imagination. And it's a good idea for members to continue to get involved and try and express themselves throughout the course of the, the debate going forward. Thank you to Glenn English. Thank you for joining us. And as usual, if you have any questions or comments, please direct them to NRECA. I'm Steve Johnson from Electric Co-op Today.